Hello my friends, Stephanie for the Stamps of Life and I'm very excited to share with you these three stamp sets. Actually, it's four stamp sets, yay! Even more exciting. The first one is a sample, I mean it goes with one of our club sets. So here's the club set and this is the stamp set that coordinates. It's called Solids for Hippo and you know, you see these and you say, oh, I love them, but I wish they had, I didn't have to color them. Well, now you don't, because now we have the solids to go in there. We have some fun patterns to go in their little fit mouths and a cute little pattern here and more flower options for the flower, which are very important. I'm happy as a hippo for you. Let's do lunch. Cute little toenails for them as well, which is really fun. And I have some fun samples to share with you. So those are really cute. And you know me, I'm, I'm so lazy. I don't like to color. I like to be able to stamp and go. So that's why we have that. Then we have some alphabets. And this alphabet is very fun. And I did the uppercase and the lowercase at the same time we're releasing them together because sometimes you just need uppercase and lowercase. And I didn't want to come out with the uppercase and then come out with the lowercase letter letters later because then it just wouldn't be as fun, right? It's nice to have both of them. And this is a very beautiful font. I love it. And I have some great samples to share with you. Now, I also have one more stamp set, but I'm going to save that for last because it has some specific um, techniques that we're going to share at the end of the video. So stay tuned for that. So let's look at some of our samples. Here I have a cute one that says thanks using that alphabet stamp set. Ooh, see how beautiful this one is, Mr. and Mrs. So it's really nice because they really go really well together. Here's a hello. Oh, here's another Mr. and Mrs. You gotta love that, it has the and sign and everything, which is fun. Now here are some solid hippos. So here's one solid hippo using our storm and our cloud ink. Here's another one using the cloud ink. So it's so much easier to have to just be able to stamp those and not have to color them. Here's best wishes using the uppercase and the lowercase alphabet. Oh, look at that. Look at his little nose or muzzle or whatever you want to call it. Hippo bird day. And I just love that little chevron shape on his face. And look at the little guy with the dots. Isn't he adorable? So cute. So cute. And you know how much I love my flippets. Now here's a cute one. I'm happy as a hippo for you and look at how cute that is. This one also uses our stitched rectangle dies. Now those babies are so popular. We are having trouble keeping them in stock. They are so much value in that set. So if you haven't seen the stitched rectangle dies, go check them out. I, I dare you to compare them with anybody else's because we give you so much value on those. You get so many dies and the price cannot be beat. So pretty exciting. And I love that one, that one's cute. And then look at this cute little guy with those little eyeballs. Those things are so funny. But this one is also a stand-up card that says hip hip hooray with our cute little grass die. So much fun. Now, the other stamp set I was talking about, remember? Now I'm gonna tell you a little secret. This is really funny. I came up with this idea and I, um, it's called palette for mirror. Okay, I'm just gonna give you the heads up. Palette for mirror, what does that mean, right? Well. The funny thing is, is yours might look like this when you get it, or it might look like this when you get it. The funny thing is, is they are the exact same stamp, kind of. Yes, they are. They're the exact same item inside. This one has the label on it, so you know how this one has the label printed on there to show you what's in there. Well, when we did these, we did some without a label. Well, it has a it has the acetate on there, but it doesn't have the black on there. This one has the black on there. It's the exact same item. So if, if your friend gets this one and you get this one, don't think something's wrong. It's the same item, okay? <laughs> yeah, I don't know what happened, but it's okay. So we're gonna open this up, and what is this? This is just a piece of polymer. Now you're thinking, why do I need this? Well, why do you not need this? This is fantastic. What you're gonna do is you're gonna, I leave it on there, I'll be honest, I leave it on the acetate and you might wanna just cut that piece off. There's a couple things you can do with this. The reason why I wanted this, and remember I always just design what I want, luckily some of you like it, that's perfect. That's, I just, I wanted this. Sometimes I will stamp the kitty cat Cheerio and I think, gosh, wouldn't it be nice if I, ha I mean she's looking one way, wouldn't it be nice if she was looking the other way? I'm like, wouldn't that be fantastic? Well, how do you do that? Oh, that would be so hard. I mean, gosh, I'd have to make two stamps and then you'd have to buy two stamps of Cheerio. You'd have to buy two cookie dogs. You'd have to buy two of everything. You don't want to spend that kind of money. Buy this instead and then look what you can do. You can stamp it. Oh, got a cat hair in there. <laughs> how appropriate. You can stamp it one way 
and then the other way by using this. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna stamp this first, then you're gonna ink your stamp again, stamp it onto your palette for mirror, mirror, it's gonna be a mirror image, then you're gonna take this and carefully and gently lay it down and stamp this. This will be your stamp. And I'm gonna show you that, don't worry. But isn't that awesome? So now we have two Cheerios, but they're looking at each other, which is really fun. Now you can kind of tell the difference that one was perfectly stamped and one is kind of like, it is like a second generation stamp. So you just have to be aware that that's gonna happen. But what if you wanted this die cut? Die cut it, flip it over and stamp on that die cut. There you go. Here's an example of a designer that did that with the bees. Now the bees are looking at each other. So one of these is stamped the right way. One is stamped using the um, die cut up, um, backwards or um, turn the other way and, and stamped with the palette for mirror. Isn't that fun? Ooh, isn't that fun? There's the hippos looking at each other. So now all your little guys can look at each other. And let me see. Then there's also another technique that you can do. So let's do that technique first. Then we're going to show you, I'm going to show you this other technique. So let's find a stamp that is, and you'd think I would have prepared for this, huh? Well, whatever. You know me. I don't do that. Uh, let's see. Let's find one that we need to have a before and after. And that would be really funny. If, it would be nice if we had one because all of these are symmetrical. So that does, oh, here, perfect. So we're going to use the mailbox. So I'm going to peel that up and uh, let's grab some paper. Now you wouldn't stamp on green a mailbox, but we're just doing this for kicks. And let's find a stamp. I'm going to lay that down and we're going to ink it up. So just for kicks, I'm just going to use black just so it's fast. And I'm going to really ink this up and I'm going to stamp it once the regular way. Now remember, this is a, this, actually, I don't know if this is one's ever been stamped before, so I don't know if this is the first time, but I'm gonna stamp it this way, okay? Of course, I'm using my secret weapon underneath, especially on those larger stamps. Beautiful, isn't that fun? Okay, but what if I wanted to turn the other way because, I don't know, maybe I wanna turn the other way. Maybe there's a reason, I don't know. So we're gonna ink this up. Now try to get a lot of ink on here. So you're gonna really press down because you want a lot of ink to transfer. Then we're going to transfer it onto this, like that. Now you're going to quickly transfer it over here, because remember this ink dries very quickly. I'm going to, so you can still see it, I'm going to line it up. Now, I don't have a block this big, actually I do somewhere, but what I like to use is a cutting pad. Press down, make sure you really press, use your secret weapon, press, 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 lift up. This is fun. Look at that, isn't that awesome? Now I have the mailbox going that way or I have the mailbox going that way. And I could still die cut it if I wanted to. I would just die cut it first, then use the back of the die cut and stamp onto it just like that. Isn't that fantastic? Now you would still wanna clean this with some cheap baby wipes from um, one of the big box stores, but isn't that fantastic? Now you have it both ways and it's so much fun. And it is a little bit fuzzier because don't forget it is a second generation and it's a little lighter, but the possibilities are endless with this. Now, I'm not saying, oh, buy this, buy this rubber stamp and buy this one, because you don't need to, you just buy one and then use this and then you can go, oh, I'm so excited. Okay, can you tell? Okay, so that's one thing. So now you have a mirror image of anything you want, anything you want. Now, what we're gonna do, and because I don't have any cheap baby wipes, oh, here's some, Ooh, sorry. I, I just love how, um, how, professional we are at this joint. Okay, so I'm gonna clean that up a little. And sometimes you, you wanna make sure it's really, oh, okay, look, you can, that was nice, he got me some too. There's some all over this place. There's some down there, there's some here, there's some over there. <sighs> now it's really wet, so let's get, let's dry that off. Okay, usually I'd wipe it on my pants, but my pants um, are actually decent ones today, so we don't wanna do that. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna do something a little different. And let me show you what it looks like first, but then I'll explain it to you. So with the same palette for mirror, you can see on the back here, we stamped it in yellow and then we stamped it in black separately. And I know that doesn't really make sense, but I'm gonna show it to you in just a minute. And here, it makes like a pattern paper look. Here on this one, and I know this one's kind of hard to see, but in person it looks fantastic. It's red, it was stamped in strawberry and little heart stamped onto it. And here's another one. Maybe if I hold it this way, it'd be better. It was stamped in yellow with flowers stamped on top. So let me show you what I mean by that. Let me get some paper because this is just so like Stephanie not to be prepared. So I'm gonna put that there. Then I'm going to ink my stamp and you can still kind of see, that's a little scary, let me wipe that off. 
Did I wipe the wrong side of this or something? I don't know why that's still there. Let's wipe it again. I think I wiped the wrong side of it. What a dork. Okay, so now we have that. And we're going to get, uh, ooh, let's do red, no, cranberry. Let's do cranberry. Clean that off a little. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to add cranberry ink. Now, this is going to be a nice, beautiful red. Look at that. Ooh, beautiful. Now, we're going to ink this baby up, get it nice and inked. And this is called make a mess, but it's fun. Okay, so we're going to ink this baby up. Like I said, I leave it on the acetate. You could put it on a cutting pad if you had an extra cutting pad. That would, be, that would work also, but I just leave it on the acetate. Okay, so look how much ink I got on there. That is a ton of ink. This was a very Juicy Lucy ink pad too, so that helps. But that is a lot of beautiful ink on there. Look at that, ooh, pretty. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna get some flowers, and these are the flowers from Flowers to Die For. They do have dyes that coordinate. And I am going to peel that one up. Oh, I didn't even clean that one off, okay. And let's drop that on there. And I am going to stamp on here. No ink, stamp, like that. And I'm gonna ink it off, get all the ink off. I could use that for another project, but I'm going to just lightly stamp. And it's gonna, you're not gonna see much, right? You're not gonna really see much. And then let me get another one, but it, hang on, stay with me, stay with me. So I'm gonna use a little baby one. This works better with the solid stamps, just a heads up. Get there, and I know you can't see very much, and let's get this as fast as we can. Okay, now what we're gonna do is we're going to lay this down. Let's see what we get. We're gonna lay this down, and this is one or more of those trial and error things, which is really fun, because you get a different look almost every time. And it'll be better the second time, because this is the first time I've used this one. But you can kind of see that pattern, and oh, I should have done more. Okay, but you can kind of see here See that little flower there? You can see the flower there. Let me try it one more time so you guys, I'm hoping I can get it better on camera. I can see it in real life, but I just want you to see it. Okay, so let's try it again. And I'll, do, I'll just do a smaller spot. Okay, let's just do that. We'll do half of it. And then where's that little stamp? Okay, so let's clean that off. So what we're doing here is we're making our own pattern paper. And we're just going to stamp it there. You can see it better in real life, so that's why I'm trying to do this. Okay, now we're going to flip this over. We're going to lay that down. And we'll go ahead and do this. Okay, and we're going to lift it up. Oh, there. Now you can see that one way better. So you can see the cute little flowers. Isn't that fun? So it has a lot of opportunity. And then what we could do is we could die cut this. Because, I mean, you wouldn't want to leave this. But here what we did was we just cut it down to use it for a layer. This one we actually, then what um, this designer did was she did this technique. And then she went over in a different color and stamped on that as well. So it's a lot of fun. Although, I will be honest, my favorite reason for it is to be able to do the mirror images like this because that has, that's something I've wanted to do for a long, long time. Now, there's gonna be lots of other techniques that we come up with to share this with you. It's fantastic because it's gonna be so incredibly versatile. So I just wanted to give you the heads up on that. Club members, of course, you get a club discount every time you order on our website, so make sure you order ASAP. If you're not a club member, check out our website, thestampsoflife.com, because trust me, it's worth it to be a club member. Thanks so much, and I hope to see you again soon. Bye-bye.